Hope you are doing well. So I am going to show how we can use this tool. So first of all, I am going to open this. So you can see there is all our options like repairing shops, job card, and traffic inspection, and also the warehouse. As usual, you can see there is all our multiple types of database. And also we have a images database for storage our images. So you need to follow this location first. There you can see all our menu, just repairing shop, job card, etc. So I am going to first repairing shop. So there you can see repairing shop button. Just click there and there you can see all our field will be available there. So okay, I am just input something like for example and this is our date. So you can select from the calendar button. Okay, after completing all our record field, just there and this is also the drop down list just press this pass or fail and after completing you just click to add new okay so data added successfully there you can see all our previous data also show there so first of all when you open this then this value will be empty and just you need to click the refresh button for refreshing all the data okay i am just closing this and go to our database and there is database and this is our repairing shop i am opening this there so this is our all our data when you input anything or insert anything from our user form then all our data will be inserted there this is like looks like a completed database okay i am closing this again and go to the launch form okay launch form now so this is our data i am just want to now edit anything just double click there okay data will be show there just if you want to update anything just i am just change this and go to the update button okay data updated successfully you can see this is our updated data okay as usual you can delete anything just click to the delete button data will be delete also you can clear any information like clear then data will be clear to this field okay and now this is our refresh button for refresh full there is a form okay and this is a home button you can see this is extra button for the go to the home and this button will be go to our home menu and okay repairing shop and this is also the download when you click this download then all our data will be downloaded at the same path then you can see back this and this is our repairing shop report okay i am opening this and this is our required data okay close this again and go to the launch form and also as usual you can see there is a search criteria search criteria that means if you want to search anything you can use all part name wise part number wise serial number as problem dash send or date receive date wise okay so i am just click this all and go to the search as a number no one okay just you can see this no number one data will be show there okay refresh again and go to as per date wise data i am just going to first february 2024 just go to the date set and start date is as first february and the last date is 1st February then just click to the search button and data will be showed there okay and also one data is available show there this will be show this okay if you want to change anything like go to the job card just use this menu or go to the home then use the job card okay there you can see this is our job card and extra feature is also the upload any emails and also if you want to update anything uh, that is you can see this is our drop down list so you can maintain from this sheet like a sheet this is support sheet and this is this is our drop down recorded field you can change anything if you change anything this will be updated to our user form like i'm just anything extra this is test and go to again home and that is launch form and use our refresh button and there you can see extra test is available now okay so as usual you just need to your final solution result also there you can see upload and picture so also you can use this button or you can use this add photo button so i am just click this there and i am inputting our required field or anything like this so okay i am click there and also there is also the your required part okay after complete all our feature like you can use the add new button so add and go to uh, that added successfully and just close this and go to the database sheet and there you can see images so 
these are attached images and also i am going to open this job card and this is our new data available there okay and this is information in and out database okay just close this and launch form again this functionality is already available in show so i i hope you can see, you can use this and go to the tab inspection so this is a this is there is a different anything like you can just bill number and name and phone number and this is city okay so after completing all our information there you can see the details so i am just inputting one level for example just title and this is also tape type and this is capacity and also recorded time so you input this as for your requirement wise and note and also the done status yes or no anything okay just one by one you can add so i am just add item so one data is available there so if you want to add more just click there too or there is anything else and this is type okay etc and etc so as per using this you can add one or more data uh, after completing all the item just click to the add i new then click add new okay data added successfully so now we, uh, we need to show how we can manage this so this is test inspection and there you can see this is our TAF inspection sheet this is our new data uh, this is our TAF inspection details so recently we are just using this number so there you can see this is for and this is the same that means this bill number and this bill number is connected okay there is two database one for is the TAF inspection and one for TAF inspection details that means one by one item you can add there system will be auto detect okay so as usual go to the again launch form and there you can see if you want to update anything or delete anything just double click there and you can see this is this double data is available there and also the all our details there okay so i am just want to delete anything just double click there and also you can delete or update anything so do you want to delete it okay yes we need to now update full information so then after completing all item or anything else you just need to click update button otherwise this data will not be updated in our main database so i am just data update successfully that means now that finally the data is updated there so if you want to check this just double click there okay data is available there and also you can delete anything or clear anything and after completing you can download or refresh anything that means first of all you when you open this one this all our list box is empty and go to the refresh button data will be refreshed there so i am going to white house so this is all our functionality is available all previous function wise so i know hope you can understand how we can use it so thank you very much